在此向莅临现场及线上的全世界法友们问候吉祥如意 诸佛菩萨们因此无量心所生之被无量心，对一切有情都如同母亲看待独子一般的对待，是十分慈悲的。而慈爱和母乳是有关系的，所以在此向各位献上代表无量慈爱的奶茶。祝各位吉祥如意
I take refuge in the Buddhas until attaining the essence of awakening. Likewise, I take refuge in the Dharma and in the assembly of the Bodhisattvas. Just as the Buddhas of the past gave rise to Bodhicitta and progressed along the Bodhisattva's path, so shall I give rise to Bodhicitta for the benefit of all beings and practice the stages of the Bodhisattva's path. I take refuge in the Buddhas until attaining the essence of awakening. Likewise, I take refuge in the Dharma and in the assembly of the Bodhisattvas. Just as the Buddhas of the past gave rise to Bodhicitta and progressed along the Bodhisattva's path, so shall I give rise to Bodhicitta for the benefit of all beings and practice the stages of the Bodhisattva's path. Until awakening, I take refuge in the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Supreme Assembly. By the merit of generosity and the other perfections, may I attain Buddhahood for the benefit of all beings. Until awakening, I take refuge in the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Supreme Assembly. By the merit of generosity and other perfections, may I attain Buddhahood for the benefit of all beings. May all mother sentient beings limitless as space have happiness and the causes of happiness. May they be free from suffering and the causes of suffering. May they not be separated from the happiness that is free from sorrow. May they rest in equanimity, free from attachment and aversion. May all mother sentient beings, limitless as space, have happiness and the causes of happiness. May they be free from <coughs> suffering and the causes of suffering. May they not be separated from the happiness that is free from sorrow. May they rest in equanimity, free from attachment and aversion. Now we'll go to the Arya Tara Satna on page one. Namo, and the Mother Victress, the embodiment of all the Buddhas, Dharma, and Sangha, I and all beings take refuge and give rise to Bodhicitta, the mind of enlightenment. <laughs> Bye, Marzar, Beto, Gelway, 
Exalted Mother Tara and all the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas abiding in the ten directions and three times, I prostrate to you with complete sincerity. I offer real and imagined flowers, incense, oil, lamps, fragrance, food, music, and the like 
Gathering of the Exalted Mother, please accept them. I confess the ten non virtues, the five grave acts with immediate result, and every misdeed of the mind controlled by afflictions from beginningless time until now. I rejoice in the merit of all virtues accumulated in the three times by the hearers, solitary realizers, bodhisattvas, ordinary beings, and the like. Please turn the wheel of the Dharma of the greater, lesser, and common vehicles according to the dispositions and mental capacities of sentient beings. Until samsara is empty, please do not enter nirvana, but gaze with compassion upon sentient beings drowning in an ocean of pain. May all the merit I have amassed become the cause of awakening, and may I soon become a glorious guide of transient beings. to the 21 Taras. Om, I prostrate to the noble transcendent liberator. Homage, Tara, swift heroic, guys like lightning instantaneous, sprung from opening samens of the Lord of three worlds, tear bone lotus. Homage, he whose face combines a hundred autumn moons at fullest, blazing with light rays resplendent as a thousand star collection. Homage, golden blue on lotus, water born in hand adorned, a giving effort, calm austerities, patience, meditation, her sphere. Homage, crown of Tathagata's actions triumph without limit, relied on by conquerors' children, having reached every perfection. Homage, filling with Tutare. From desire, direction, and space, trampling with her feet the seven worlds, able to draw forth all beings. Homage, worshiped by the all lords, Chakra, Agni, Brahma, Maru, honored by the hosts of spirits, corpses, Gandharvas, Yakshas. Homage with her tray and pay sounds, destroying foes, magic diagrams, her feet pressing left out right and Blazing in a raging fire blaze, homage to a very dreadful destroyer of Mara's champions. She with frowning lotus visit, who is slayer of all enemies. Homage at the heart her fingers, adorn her with three jewel mudra. Light ray masses all excited, all directions wheels adorn her. Homage she showed radiant. Crown emitting garlands of light, mirthful laughing with Titare, subjugating Mara's devas, homage she able to summon, all earth guardians assembly, shaking frowning with her home sign, saving from every misfortune, homage crown adorned with crescent, moon all ornaments most shining. Amitabha in her hair knot, sending out much light eternal. Homage she mid wreath ablaze like eon ending fire abiding. Right stretched left bent choice surrounds you, troops of enemies destroying. Homage she who strikes the ground with her palm and with her foot beats it, scowling with the ladder home the seven levels she does conquer. Homage, happy, virtuous, peaceful, she whose field is peace, nirvana, she endowed with omens, woha, destroyer of the great evil. Homage, she with joy surrounded, tearing foes' bodies asunder, frees with home and knowledge mantras, arrangement of the ten letters. Homage to a with C letter, of the shape of syllable home. By foot stamping shakes the three worlds. Meru, Mandara, and Vidya. 
um, <coughs> shot in her hand, Harmakuna of Deva Lake for <coughs> and paid, totally dispelling poison. Homage she whom gods and their kings and the Kinaras do honor. Armored in all joyful splendor, she dispels bad dreams and conflicts. Homage she whose two eyes bright with radiance of sun and full moon. With Trishara and Tutare, she dispels severe contagion. Homage full of liberating. Power by the set of three natures, destroys hosts of spirits, yakshas, and raised corpses supreme ture. These praises with the root mantras and prostrations thus are twenty one. Om Jarvai Gunje Jangar Dhoje Jarva Yanja Male Jarva Tele Gunja Ma. Yer my bomb or yon gem, I don't so nine joder, nine jerejem, I don't jerejem, I gen gem, I don't gen ledger, don't send a nudge, roar mine jet, so in jer nor derma, trajet, don't jet, drop on your my ton your gens. Raja my thine barber wage am I. By me, no, my maja jam, I me bind your mo. Retro my thine wizard jam, I do. Dragon seven sole, Roger, John Joe, don't do. Dodge on jail, I wage am I. Benefits of the 21 Tara praises. To one who has true devotion to the goddess, a wise person who recites this prayer with faith, who remembers her in the evening and upon arising at dawn, absolute fearlessness will be bestowed. All misdeeds will be pacified and all lower realms utterly conquered. And one will be empowered quickly by 70 million Buddhas. Attaining greatness by this practice, one will arrive at the ultimate state of Buddhahood. By remembering her, even the virulent poison of plants or meat that have been eaten or drunk will be utterly expelled. This prayer completely eliminates the torment of afflictions of negative forces, epidemics, and poisons, even when recited on behalf of others. On reciting it clearly twice, thrice, or seven times, those who want children will have a child, and those who desire wealth will attain it. All of one's wishes will be fulfilled, all obstacles will cease, and every hindrance will be destroyed. Noble Arya Tara, through your compassion, the obscurations of myself and all beings are cleansed, and the two accum accumulations are completed. In every lifetime, may unfavorable conditions arising from the eight or ten fears be pacified, and may Dharma practice activities and wealth increase. May all beings be liberated from danger and attain Buddhahood like you. Bye. <laughs>
prepare your burning away affliction text. We'll be doing it for the deceased following the blue writing, starting on page two. <laughs> the vase is a self-born vast palace inside which appear the deities supremely clear like planets and stars reflected in a limpid lake. Light streams forth from its life force, seed in mantra winds around the mantra thread and dissolves into the vase deities' hearts. From their bodies flows pristine nectar, merging indivisibly with the waters of the vase. <laughs> The deities melt into wisdom nectar, merging inseparably into one with the vase water. I pray to you, precious Guru, kind Lord of Dharma, I call you with longing. Unfortunate ones have no hope but you. Grant your blessings that our minds merge indivisibly. Sarvadharma <laughs> 
From the state of emptiness appears your initial adorned with a bindu. It transforms into you referred to as the one past, appearing with the complete aggregates, elements, and sense sources, just as when alive taking refuge in the three jewels and the deities of the mandala. child of noble family now past, the life you cared for has now come to its end. You have gone to a place beyond the five aggregates, a city of illusion. Wherever you are born in the six realms, all samsaric states lack happiness, especially in the three miserable states of existence, the suffering is inconceivable. Therefore, listen, child of noble family, do not attach to this samsaric world. Resist the tempting calls of evil forces that will lead you astray. With mind directed on the Yidam, single-pointedly to this supreme place and the holy presence of the Master and Deity, come instantly. <laughs> Namo, by the power of the truth of the infinite hosts of the three roots and the power of the deities mantra, mudra, and samadhi, wherever your consciousness abides, child past you are called to this support. and confused appearances, you spirits, obstructors, and elementals, take this torma and go to your abodes. Within the Dharmakaya state, where primordial awareness, the deity, and mantra are non-dual, the mandala of boundaries is formed spontaneously and naturally. <laughs> Oh, it's in the legend, 
Inscribed on the six places of your body, passed on child, are the six seeds of the six classes. Arising as the Yidam, my fingers are the Buddhas of the five families and their consorts. Light rays of primordial wisdom stream from their points of union, burning away the seeds of the six classes. Instantly at Buddha's birth, the gods offer him ablution. Just so, I offer you ablution with the pure waters of the gods. Even though the Buddha's sublime body, speech, and mind are unstained by the afflictions to purify the three doors, veils of self and others, I make this bathing offering with the purest water. I dry their bodies with exquisite cloth, pure and sweetly fragrant. Hong, the host of victorious deities abides within the vast palace of this blessed vase. 
Nature of the six perfections, its water cleanses the stains of the six afflictions. Ablution water endowed with samadhi and mantra, a vast ocean of good qualities. Bathe your lotus mind in the moon mandala reflected in the water of primordial wisdom. Thus purified, may you, child, pass, become pristine like a white pearl with no stain left to cleanse. All habits and obscurations of your body, speech, and mind become pure. Auspiciousness by day, auspiciousness at night, and auspiciousness at midday too. Auspiciousness forever day and night. Through the three jewels may auspiciousness prevail. <laughs> Listen, deceased child of noble family, have faith in the Guru and the deity, and come here with joy and respect to gaze upon this sublime mandala. The denizens of hells arise out of aggression. See them as a mirror, clear and empty. Avarice, the world of hungry ghosts, realize it as the state of sameness wisdom. Ignorance, the world of animals, is the luminosity of Dharmadhatu wisdom. Attachment, the domains of humans, is the self-nature of discriminating wisdom. Jealousy, the realms of demigods, is the creative energy of spontaneously accomplishing wisdom. Realize the three planes of the gods' abodes within the state of clear and empty wisdom. The impure six samsaric states are the abodes of six pure wisdoms. Within the single empty nature of the mind itself, even the concepts of pure or impure do not exist. Enter the heart of awareness, the mandala of spontaneous, empty clarity.
Embodiments of all the Buddhas, the very essence of Vajra holders, and the root of the three jewels, homage to all gurus, compassionate protectors, omniscient guides, ocean of merit and good qualities, homage to the Buddhas, to the pure cause that liberates from lower rebirth, virtuous action devoid of attachment, the supreme and singular ultimate truth, homage to the Dharma that is peace. Liberated yourself, you show the path to liberation, well-founded in the pure trainings, a sacred field of noble qualities, homage to the Sangha too, homage to the unwavering Dharmakaya, the wisdom mind beyond expression, the great bliss and Bogakaya, the five Buddhas and their families, and the Nirmanakaya of peace and wrath, the deities, the myriad expressions of compassion, skillful means, with bodies as numerous as dust motes in all universes, I will always pay homage with great devotion to all those worthy of respect. <laughs> You oceans of refuge, please liberate countless sentient beings and myself from the fear of evil states, and please guide us to the state of liberation. <laughs> In an instant, you departed ones transform into the pure deity. Home, in this vase, this precious and vast palace is the divine assembly of the three roots. Its water transforms to wisdom nectar. To empty samsara from its very depths, child now past, empowerment is given to you. May the obscurations of your body, speech, and mind be purified, and may you obtain empowerment of enlightened body, speech, and mind. Ha 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 ho bangawate ariyata 
Ayadare bava ma zamaya zado ay kaya wa gazda azarwa abeginza om ahonje rayanga om ahon om ahon om Sarva Kamzo wa namya sarva da da inga da bai jome jome geb Da ga unga de zaware na imam gangan Kamzo wa hong yoi tende lue jere jebe jenyoi Jan dun ye lai jabe nyen dun dai Malai lin dun dun bi dru nan dai yun dun dru bi Lea wain gar mi jain zi bi zim jia loin jui na zu sa Tui jia ta dun dun bi lu bun jie Luan jui dir jin dru jie nur zi dai Ruan jui jie ta Dien bi za wa dai na zu zin ba jie bi jia wa dan Nyo mo dun wa si bi dun wa shan Din zin ga dan cha jie shin la di zin di re Mu ba ye jie gong dung e ma le gong jie ne Yun jie si dan gong dun jo bar shu Do yun loin jun de dar ba mi dai Zo jha jha ro re jha la so zi Ngu sun jha jha ye jha le jha ne Ting zi ngha tan jha 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 la de Tsin de re jha pa la ngu pa ye ai Tso jho shen pa rang sa jho jha jha Bottom of page 27. Home. Listen, child of noble family who has passed and changed, we, your dear family, reach out for you with love. Friends with shared aspirations and karma have no chance to be together long. Yet with loving mind, we have gathered various enjoyments, and the master who is endowed with compassionate means has arranged enjoyments, great treasure troves of wealth, delicious food, rich in nutrition, satisfying tastes of various kinds and drinks, dispelling the pain of the afflictions, consecrating them with mudras, mantras, and samadhi. These are dedicated to you, the deceased child of noble family. May they pacify all suffering of hunger and thirst without exception and turn into an inexhaustible supply of food and drink. Having arranged myriad desirable offerings of form, sound, smell, taste, touch, and the like, actually prepared and mentally created, consecrated with mudras, mantra, and samadhi. I dedicate them to you, passed on child of noble family. May the clinging to the six sensations be freed in its natural place. All beings of the five or six classes who take birth in four ways, the special guests of my compassion, and in particular the two classes of impoverished hungry ghosts, all those who have left behind their physical supports yesterday, this morning, or some years, months, days, or hours ago, who have not yet found their future bodies, who are without refuge or shelter, protection or helping friends on their dreadful journey through the bardo of becoming, who have no support of past collections and little virtue to call upon, 
whose aggregates combine four names of which sensation is by nature suffering, who are tormented by confused perceptions and bewilderment and anguished by cold, hunger, and thirst, whose lifespan is uncertain, who are like a feather blown around by wind and who have no control over where to go. We dedicate these offerings especially to these bardo beings as well as all of the other beings dwelling in the bardo. May you be at ease having met with perfect dwelling places, companions, enjoyments, food, and drink. In such a state, may you behold noble Avalokiteshvara and the Bodhisattva, eliminator of obscurations. May you recognize the bardo as such and seal confused appearances, remembering the guru, the three jewels, the yidam, and the view. May the obscurations of all misdeeds be instantly purified. Thus may you attain mastery of awareness and pass with sudden force to special pure lands such as Dewa Chen or Lotus Light. passed on child of noble family wherever in psychic existence you are born its nature is suffering of three kinds unattached and without craving give rise to the supreme mind of awakening and remember the truth the dharmata within the illusory state realize that the five paths are without self nature may your subtle mental body the luminous essence go to the field called lotus array and attain actual awakening indivisibly from the wisdom state of infinite illumination. The consciousness in the form of awe dissolves into the heart of Amitabha. <laughs> Bhagavan Tathagata Arha, perfectly complete Buddha, protector Amitabha, I pay homage, make offerings, and take refuge. Bhagavan Tathagata Arha, perfectly complete Buddha, protector Amitabha, I pay homage, make offerings, and take refuge. <laughs> great bliss is infinite illumination, the embodiment of compassion. I supplicate you with intense and heartfelt yearning. This body is an illusion, a fleeting water bubble, a filthy house of karma, afflictions, and confusion, in which is the disciple's luminous mind itself, the Dharmakaya. May it transfer into the presence of the Buddha Amitabha. I am born joy, 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 jo
By the force of the noble and supreme conquerors, compassionate blessings, and our faith, our mind streams blend non duly in a mere instant. Grant blessings to take birth in Dewa Chen. Ah. <laughs> From the hearts of the mandala deities, light rays of wisdom shine forth and purify all samsaric phenomena, the aggregates, elements, and sense bases of the deceased, into the expanse of non-referential primordial purity. of Dharmadhatu, the fire of wisdom awareness is lit upon the wood pile of self-grasping, burning away the afflictions and the habitual tendencies of the one past. The fire that is without aspiration for arising or cessation, without abiding and without characteristics, this self-born wisdom fire has burned away the conceptual imagination of believing in a self. In truth, all objects to be burnt and those who burn them are primordially and effortlessly awakened. The self-born wisdom, the natural, spontaneous Dharmakaya, appears here. <laughs> Anarado me bawa, Zarwa zede me mbraya, Zarwa karma zezame, Zedan jaya guru hum, Ha 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 ho, Banga wate, Arya dare ma mem, Arya dare bawa maha samaya. Turn to the Arya Tara Sadhana to recite the seven verses of supplication to Tara for protection on page 38. Noble Goddess Mother Tara, you dwell within the realm of the unborn Dharmadhatu Mother. You who bestow happiness on all sentient beings, please protect us from all fears. Unaware that they themselves are dharmakaya, my mothers wander in samsara with minds controlled by afflictions. Mother goddess, please protect us. If the dharma does not truly take birth in our hearts, we will follow verbal conventions and become deceased by erroneous philosophies. Genuine mother goddess, please protect us. Having seen the nature of mind so difficult to realize, we do not habituate it but remain lost in negative activities. Mindful mother goddess, please protect us. 
due to the habit of dualistic grasping at the mind that is self-arisen, non-dual wisdom, we are bound no matter what we do. Goddess of non-dual mind, please protect us. Although we have dwelt in the ultimate truth, we are unaware of the interdependence of cause and effect. Thus we are blind to the meaning of what is to be known. Omniscient Mother Goddess, please protect us. Even those of us who are disciples cannot see that everything is inseparable from the nature of unelaborated space. Mother of perfect awakening, please protect us.
exalted transcendent lady of triumph, compassionate one, please remove the two veils of endless sentient beings and myself. Let us complete the two accumulations swiftly to reach complete awakening. Until that is achieved in all lifetimes, please remove and pacify at once all obstacles, evil forces, epidemics, and diseases, the various conditions leading to untimely death, bad dreams, ill omens, the eight fears, and all harm, so that I may experience the highest joys of gods and humans and attain omniscience. Expanding and increasing the auspiciousness and perfect goodness of this world and beyond, let all goals without exception be accomplished effortlessly and spontaneously. May I be diligent in practice and may the sacred Dharma thrive. Let me gaze at your exquisite face as I continuously practice you. Let me realize the truth of emptiness and let precious bodhicitta blossom and expand like a waxing moon. When I am born from a divinely beautiful and sacred lotus in the victorious one's excellent and joyful mandala, may Amitabha, the Buddha of infinite light, directly reveal his prophecy, and may I strive to attain it. O goddess whom I have practiced throughout all my lives, <coughs> mother of enlightenment, mother of enlightened deeds, of all the three times Buddhas, blue-green with one face and two arms, you are the swift subduer. May the auspiciousness of the mother holding an Unpala be present. Mother of the victors, Tara, may I and others become just like you in form, retinue, lifespan, pure realm, an excellent noble sign of perfection. By the force of praising and supplicating you, let disease, malevolent spirits, poverty, and crawling be seized and let the Dharma and auspiciousness increase throughout the world and in all directions wherever I and others dwell. Having discarded physical flaws, you possess the major and minor marks of a Buddha. Having discarded fault of speech, your voice is a melodious bear song of Kalavinka. Having discarded fault of the mind, you see all noble things. O oh, brilliant mother of auspicious glory, may your auspiciousness be with us. Om. Homage to she who protects from the eight fears. Homage to she who blazes in auspicious glory. Homage to she who blocks the gate to the lower realms. Homage to she who guides on the path of the higher realms. You are my constant companion. I pray you will eternally protect me with compassion. O oh, mother of the three times Buddhas who loves all sentient beings as a mother loves her child, may I become free from the iron shackles of self-grasping and may my activities that benefit beings equal yours. We go to the Zambala, rainfall of blessing, on page 33. <laughs> Sanchochegger, Shawasuka 我们现在将超度的仪式录音录制起来在修超度的过程当中
令中阴所显现的幻象能够消失，信心能够使幻象消除。就像我们平时在看电视，倘若影像的来源底片里面没有录制影像的话，那么电视的屏幕当中就不会有任何的显现。中阴时候的习气是比较容易能够处理的。如果我们在生前有串习进账的法门，不论是生者或者是亡者，了解了其内涵，知道习气的根源是我执，并且对三宝升起信心的时候，这些习气就会被清除，这些幻象会在刹那片刻之间消失。就像我们断开了底片和电视屏幕之间的连接一样，因此我们录制超度祈福的修法、进账的修法，因为这个不论是对王者跟生者而言都是十分重要的。上座的坐了一节，给出我的巨龙草帽的上座以后呢，这这呃，刚年纪当过的上座呢。这多人接的，这我那皮个头，搞的皮个头，就是皮个头多人接呢，这里还搞特别的白，呃，多人接也给起没有的，是吧？这里。对于进藏法门进行讨论是十分重要的，所有宗教都有其超见祈福的进藏法，不论是一直哪一位本尊修超度祈福。所以，我们应当在这个修法上面进行讨论，是否能够真实的有利益？那会对哪一方面带来利益？透过这样的讨论去研讨，或许能够促进我们有更深的理解。所以，讨论和问答十分重要。
Lama, deities of longevity, Dakinis of Udiana, and Assembly of Wealth Gods, please bestow the four empowerments upon me and other fortunate disciples. Being bestowed with the supreme form empowerment upon my body, may I attain the indestructible Vajra body. Being bestowed with the supreme speech empowerment upon my speech, may I attain the power of Brahma's 60 melodies. Being bestowed with the supreme mind empowerment upon my mind, May I attain power over the unborn simplicity. May I attain the Kaya empowerment, the ultimate empowerment that is the spontaneous presence of the three kayas. May I attain the empowerment to the Guru's three kayas, which causes the three poisons to manifest as the three kayas. May I attain the empowerment of the long life deities of the five families, which causes the five poisons to manifest as the five aspects of primordial wisdom. May I attain the empowerment of the Dakinis of Udiana, by which the body of deathless primordial wisdom is attained. May I attain the empowerment of white Sambhala Yabhyam, which effortlessly and spontaneously accomplishes ordinary and sublime cities. May I attain the empowerment of wealth gods and treasure lords, which perfects the abundance of food, wealth, and riches. May I attain the empowerment of Mahamudra, which liberates from samsara's pain. May I attain the empowerment of self-knowing dharmakaya, which is the primordial purity of the delusional perceptions of unawareness. May I attain the empowerment to the great completion, which is the primordial purity of all phenomena of samsara and nirvana. May I attain the empowerment to the great middle way, which naturally liberates the four extremes of eternalism and nihilism. May I attain the empowerment of the perfection of wisdom, which is inexpressible, being beyond words and thoughts. May I attain the empowerment of total openness, free from fixation, which naturally liberates dualistic propensities. May I attain the empowerment of immortal life, which is the unchanging expanse of awareness. May I attain the empowerment of awakening within one lifetime, which is the endless accumulation of merit.
Om Hri, the Guru who is the three Kayas, deities of longevity, Dakinis of Uddiyana, and assembly of wealth gods, my own body, speech, and mind, this life all solid and substantial matter, all these dissolve like clouds dissolving in the sky or water pouring into water, without reference point into the all-pervasive open space of awe. In state of non-distraction, rest at ease. In the unborn basic space of phenomena, let go of everything. In a state of simplicity, remain free and open. Seal with steadfastness. Samaya, seal, seal, seal. Om Hri, by this virtue of timelessness beyond the three times, may all beings be relieved from the suffering of poverty, hunger, and thirst, and may all wishes and enjoyments be fulfilled. At last, may they swiftly attain the most excellent state of the Master Papa Sambhava and Amitabha in the Buddha field, great bliss, and reach the ground of no return. Page 98, <coughs> World Peace Prayer. To the unfailing sources of refuge, the three jewels and three roots, and especially Chenrezig, the protector of the land of snows, to noble Tara and Guru Padma Sambhava, I pray, please remember your sacred pledge of former times. Please grant blessings that this aspiration be entirely fulfilled. In this dark age of decline, the thoughts and actions of beings are corrupted, and the balance of the outer and inner elements is lost. Through these causes and conditions, humans and animals alike are seized by epidemics and diseases unknown in the past. They are struck by planetary demons, nagas, evil spirits, dark forces, and elemental spirits. Crops are damaged by blight, frost, and hail, and there is fighting and dispute. Untimely rains, heat waves, and droughts in the world, fear of earthquakes, fire, adversaries, and natural catastrophes, and in particular, evil hordes that hurt the teachings and so forth cause harm and violence throughout the world. May these be swiftly pacified and vanquished from their very roots. In the minds of all beings, human and non-human, may precious and supreme bodhicitta arise naturally. And free of harmful thoughts and actions, may the minds of all be filled with love for one another. May the entire world enjoy abundant happiness and wealth. May the Buddha's teaching spread far and endure long by the truthful power of the three roots, the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, by whatever virtuous roots there are in samsara and nirvana, and by the power of our highest pure intention, may this aspiration be fulfilled. Now we'll do uh, the dedication prayer and the blue prayer book of um, uh, from Shanti Deva, the way of the Bodhisattva. Okay, sorry. We're, we're going to uh, not do that one. We're going to do <coughs> the longer prayer, which is the King of Noble Prayers on page 52, aspiring to the deeds of the excellent. Homage to the ever youthful Manjushri. With purity of body, speech, and mind, I bow to all the heroic Buddhas of the past, present, and future, without exception in every world in all the ten directions. By the power of this aspiration of Samantabhadra, I bow with as many bodies as there are atoms in, in the world to all those victorious Buddhas manifest in my mind, and I pay homage to all of them. I conceive the entire realm of truth to be completely filled with enlightened ones. 
On each atom, I imagine there to be as many Buddhas as atoms in the world, each Buddha surrounded by many Bodhisattvas. I honor all these blissful lords, praising their perfections with all the sounds of various melodies and ocean of endless praise. I offer to those heroic Buddhas the finest flowers, garlands, music, and ointments, excellent canopies, choice lamps, and the best incense. I offer as well to those victorious ones the finest array of all excellent things, the finest robes and fragrances and heaps of sweet-smelling powders as high as Mount Meru. By the power of my faith in the deeds of Samantabhadra, I prostrate and present vast and unequaled offerings to each of the victorious Buddhas. I confess every type of wrong that I have done in thought, word, or deed while influenced by desire, anger, and ignorance. I rejoice in the meritorious deeds of all the Buddhas, <coughs> as well as those performed by the Bodhisattvas, Praktya Buddhas, Arhats, <coughs> and those who are in the path of training, and those who need no more training, <coughs> and by all sentient beings in the ten directions. <coughs> I entreat the enlightened protectors who have attained the atta detachment of Buddhahood and eliminate the worlds of the ten directions to turn the peerless wheel of Dharma. With folded hands, I beseech those who intend to manifest the final nirvana to remain as many eons as there are atoms in all the worlds for the benefit and happiness of all living beings. May whatever small amount of virtue I may have gained from prostrating, offering, confessing, rejoicing, and beseeching be dedicated to attainment of perfect enlightenment. <coughs> May I worship the Buddhas of the past and those now present in the worlds of the ten directions. May those to come quickly fulfill their aspirations and reach Buddhahood by traversing the stages of enlightenment swiftly. May the worlds of the ten directions become extensively and completely pure. May it be filled with bodhisattvas and victorious and victorious Buddhas who proceed to the royalty of enlightenment. May all living beings in the ten directions all be happy, free of sickness. May they be endowed with favorable con con circumstances for achieving dharmic goals, and may their wishes be accomplished. May I remember my life in all states of existence while in the training of enlightenment. In all my successive births and deaths, may I always embrace religious life. May I follow all the victorious Buddhas of perfect deeds of Samantabhadra, pure in the morality without defect. May my conduct always be flawless. May I teach the Dharma in every tongue, in whatever sounds are understood by living beings, in the languages of the gods, nagas, demons, spirits, and human beings. May I steadfastly apply myself to the six perfection. May I never disregard my intention to attain enlightenment and completely remove whatever faults may obscure my path. May I be free from karma, emotional afflictions, and the influence of demons, like the lotus unsoiled by the mar, or like the sun and moon in, in clear sky, so that I may proceed unhindered. Throughout the whole land, in all the directions, may I relieve the sufferings of the lower realms. May I be able to bring happiness to and provide benefit for all living beings. Fully accomplishing the activities of enlightenment, may I work in harmony with the needs of all beings. May I practice and demonstrate the deeds of Samantha Bhadra through all, my, all future eons. May I always associate with those whose activities are similar to mine. May we act alike in thought, word, and deed, and may our aspiration be as one. May I always associate with spiritual friends who wish to help me and teach the deeds of Samantha Bada. May I never cause them pain or disappointment. May I always personally behold the victorious Buddha, those guardians surrounded by bodhisattvas. Without tiring in all future eons, may I always present them magnificent offerings. May I always uphold the Buddha's holy dharma and illuminate the deeds of enlightenment. May I train in the practice of Samantabhada in all future eons. Through rebirth in all the states of existence, may I gather an endless store of merit and wisdom. May I become an inexhaustible treasure of all virtues, method, wisdom, concentration, and liberation. May I always behold as many pure lands as there are atoms present in each world with inconceivable Buddhas sitting in the midst of their bodhisattvas and performing the activities of enlightenment. 
In this way, may I be able to see everywhere, even ev on every mode of past, countless Buddhas of the past, present, and future, limitless pure lands and endless eons. May I always hear the pure speech of the victorious Buddhas, which holds within each world the totality and perfect of the perfect Dharma in an ocean of languages precisely suited to the needs of each being. May I possess the perfect intelligence to hear the endless melody of speech when the victorious Buddhas of the past, present, and future turn the wheels of Dharma. May I accomplish the Bodhisattva's practice of entering the past, present, and future in a fraction of a second. May I know in a single instant all that is encompassed in the duration of the three times. May I behold all the heroic Buddhas of past, present, and future in a single instant. May I always perform the activities throughout the power of liberation from illusion. May I practice upon, may I perceive upon a single atom a perfect design of the pure realms of the past, present, and future. Thus may I enter into the realms of the victorious Buddhas in all directions. When the illuminator of the worlds of the future realize the stages of Buddha or turn the wheel and enter the profound peace of Nirvana, may I always be in their presence. May I accomplish and perfect the powers of enlightenment, the power of a miraculous swiftness, the power of perfection of every spiritual path, the power of all virtuous qualities, the power of all pervasing loving kindness, the power of the merit of every virtue, the power of all transcendent wisdom, and the powers of perfect knowledge, method, and meditation. May the forces of karma be utterly purified, the power of passions utterly subdued, the power of demons utterly destroyed, and the power of the deeds of Samantabada perfected. May I tirelessly perform the enlightened activities for an ocean of eons, purifying an ocean of lands, liberating an ocean of beings, realizing an ocean of dharma, attaining an ocean of wisdom, perfecting an ocean of practice, accomplishing an ocean of aspirations, ceaselessly serving an ocean of Buddhas, May I completely fulfill and perfect aspirations to the enlightened activities of the victorious Buddhas of the three times by attaining enlightenment according to the deeds of Samantabhadra. The eldest son of the victorious Buddhas is called Samantabhadra. I dedicate all these virtuous actions that may, my deeds may be like his. May my body, speech, mind, deeds, and environment always be pure. May I become equal to Samantabhadra in these excellent aspirations. May there be no limit to my activities. May there be no limits to my virtues. Through limitless perseverance, may I accomplish all miraculous deeds. The limit of living beings is like a limit of open space. May the limit of my aspiration be equal to the limit of their activities and passion. Whoever offers the, to the victorious Buddhas all the perfect joys of gods and men and the infinite realms of the ten directions adorned with jewels, for as many eons as there are atoms in those realms, shall gain great merit. But whoever hears this greatest dedication prayer and is inspired by faith to intensely desire supreme enlightenment shall gain even higher and holier merit. Whoever recites the aspiration Samantha Bhadra will never again endure hellish rebirth, will abandon evil friends, and will soon behold Amitabha, the Buddha of boundless light. They will gain all benefits, live in happiness, attain precious human rebirth, and soon become like Samadabhada himself. Even those who in ignorance committed the five unreadable sins will soon be completely purified by reciting the aspiration of Samantabhadra. They will achieve perfect wisdom, a radiant countenance, beautiful form, auspicious physical marks, and a noble birth. Profane and devilish beings will not trouble them, and they will be honored by all the three realms. They will quickly reach the tree of enlightenment and recite there to benefit all beings. As enlightened Buddhas, they will turn the wheel of Dharma, taming the demonic hosts. Whoever preserves, teaches, or recites this aspiration of Samantha Bada shall ultimately attain perfect Buddhahood, may no despair of complete enlightenment. In whatever way Valiant Majushi and Samantha Bada know how to transfer merit, so do I dedicate all of my own virtue that I might train to be like them. Since dedication is praised as supreme by the victorious Buddhas of the three times, I dedicate all of these roots of virtue to accomplishing the deeds of Samantha Bhadra. 
At the moment of my death, may all my obscurations be removed so that I may, I may behold Amitabha, the Buddha of boundless light, and go to Sukhavati, the pure land of perfect bliss. In that blissful land, may I completely fulfill all this aspiration and benefit all beings as long as the universe remains. Joyful there in that blessed assembly of the Buddha, may I be reborn like a holy one from an exquisite lotus, and may the Buddha Amitabha himself foretell my own enlightenment. May I thereafter emanate endless throughout the power of the perfect wisdom to accomplish countless benefits for living beings in all the ten directions. Through whatever small virtue I have gathered by reciting the aspiration of Samantabhadra, May all the virtuous aspiration of living beings be accomplished in a single moment. Through the boundless merit gained by dedicating this aspiration of Samantha Bada, may the countless beings drowning in the torrent of suffering reach the stage of Amitabha. May this greatest dedication prayers benefit countless living beings. May reciting this ornament of Samantha Bada release all beings from the suffering of the lower realms. In the yellow prayer book, page 20 for long life prayers. For this realm, encircled by snow-covered mountains, you are the source of all benefit and happiness without exception. Tenzin Gyatso, Lord Shinrazig, may your life remain steadfast until the end of samsara. Embodiment of the three jewels, great being who upholds and increases the teachings of the Shakya lion, you perfectly guide others with your excellent deeds. May you, the precious Guru, who accomplishes everything, spontaneously live long. Holder of the teachings of the Lord Drigumpa, great sovereign of the three jewels, through the power of your peerless compassion and the holy Dharma's peaceful light, you bring relief to beings. May your life be long. Known in the noble land as Arya Deva, you emanated into the Gar clan of eastern Tibet as Chodingpa, the heart son of Jingding Gompo. May the life of glorious Garchan remain steadfast for a hundred eons. Page 26. May the teaching of the great Rigumpa Ratna Shri, master of interdependence, omniscient lord of Dharma, who has seen all noble things, be upheld through teachings and practice, through hearing, reflecting, and meditating until the end of existence. Your thousand arms are the thousand wheel-turning kings. Your thousand eyes are the thousand Buddhas of this fortunate eon. Your love is boundless like space. I supplicate the Bodhisattva, Chen Reze. <laughs> Thank you, Your Eminence, Garchin Rinpoche, and Kempo Tenzin, and Kempo Tupsang. 
and uh, <clears throat> for joining the practice today and everyone online. Uh, and be sure to tune in at 3 p.m. today uh, for guard, uh, for Kempo Tenzin's meditation on mindfulness from 3 to 4. Everyone be well. Take care. Oh, my God.